Hey everyone, Laura Koval here. I wanted to talk to you today about one of the things that seems to bother Tulsa gardeners, and I'm sure gardeners outside of Tulsa the most, and that is the squash vine borer. Squash vine borers are just that. They like squash and they bore into your vines. And I'm gonna pan the camera a little bit here. I have my squash plant back behind me, and you can see all this damage here. So basically what these guys are gonna do is dig into your leaves, they actually poke kind of a small hole into your leaves. And then once they have that hole in there, that's where they lay their larvae. And the larvae will crawl down the vine, eating their way through, which is why you get almost that kind of sawdusty look, um, that kind of pulp look, because it's chewed up inside of your vines. So as you can see, my vines have been affected by them. Most people eventually will get some squash vine borers here in Northeastern Oklahoma. They're a huge problem, but there's a few things that you can do. So my methodology is I garden only organically. I don't like using any kind of pesticides if I don't have to, so I try to treat as I go. So in order to keep a steady supply of squash, what I've done is mounded up some straw on the base of my plant. So in the main root system, or I'm sorry, the main shoot system, I should say, I mound that straw up loosely so there's still a little bit of air circulation, but what it does is it prevents those adult beetle borers from getting to the base of my plant. That's why you see a lot of the branches are dead behind me, but the plant is still alive because those other branches are still healthy that have branched off of that main base. What I also do is I succession plant. So right now this guy is on its way out, but I have some other squash plants in the back of our yard that I started much, much later. Those are gonna be ripening and um, the squash and those will be ripening in the next couple of weeks. So that way, again, I have a steady supply of squash. The other thing that you can try is using BT. Um, I have used BT on this plant a little bit. It helps deter some of the pests. BT is a stomach poison. It's organic. It's from a soil microbe that's reproduced in a lab, essentially. And what the BT will do is those caterpillars can eat it, then they get sick and it kills them off. The problem with that with squash vine borers is in order to get them to eat it, they would have to eat the outside of the plant. Sometimes they get enough in their system just from spraying the surface that it will kill them off. Other times it doesn't work. You can try injecting your plant with BT. I have heard of clients doing this with varying success, but it can sometimes help and at least prolong the life of your plant. The other thing you can do if you're not so concerned about gardening organically is go to a product like a Seven Dust. I don't personally use those unless there's imminent doom in my garden. I like to keep it as healthy and organic as possible and treat my soil really well, but that's definitely an option. It's also an effective product, but you have to keep applying it regularly. So. I like succession planting. I'm really big on that. I'm sure I'll do a video in the series about succession planting because one of the benefits is that if you have pest issues like this, you can still extend your season a little bit. Hopefully that helped and I hope you don't get any squash vine borers in your garden as I've heard them referred to online as soul crushers and they really can affect your squash plants in a big way. So hopefully you have healthy squash and happy gardening.